The International Criminal Court has now issued an arrest warrant against Russia's President Vladimir Putin, accusing him of being responsible for war crimes committed in Ukraine. Well, our international affairs editor, Dominic Waghorn, is here. Um, hi, Dominic. We know that President Putin doesn't respect the jurisdiction of the ICC. So what does this actually mean? Well, I mean, yes, he's, he's, he's now joining the list of a number of people who've been indicted or about to be indicted, at least. Um, not exactly sure of the exact status at the moment. But there is a long list of um, people who've been indicted by the International Criminal Court. Uh, Omar al-Bashir, the Sudanese leader, Muammar, al Muammar Gaddafi and his son, Saif al-Islam, were both, in, both indicted and um, unless the war goes very badly for him, he's toppled from power and he's handed over. It's unlikely he's going to face trial, uh, neither did Gaddafi or, or um, Omar al-Bashir. But we have the, uh, the, the, the details statement now of from the, the crimes ICC. of which he's accused. Yeah, it? exactly. So let's read out what that says. Mr Vladimir Vladimirovich Putin born on 7th of October 1952, President of the Russian Federation, is allegedly responsible for the war crime of unlawful deportation of population of children and that of the unlawful transfer of population of children from occupied areas of Ukraine to the Russian Federation under, and it lists various articles. The crimes were allegedly committed in Ukrainian-occupied territory at least from the 24th of February of last year. There are reasonable grounds, it says, to... Uh, suspect uh, that uh, he is responsible uh, for a number of crimes, uh, having committed the acts directly, jointly with others and or through others, and is guilty or suspected for the failure to exercise control properly over civilian and military subordinates who committed the acts or allowed for their commission. So it's primarily about the abduction of children. Mm. And interestingly, in the same statement from the ICC, another person's been mentioned, and that is Maria Alexeyevna Lavova Belova, who is the Commissioner for Children's Rights in the office of the President of the Russian Federation. Now, so she's kind of the, the Children's Rights Commissioner in the Kremlin. She has gained notoriety because she has adopted or claimed to have adopted a number of Ukrainian children, orphans, um, some of whom have been interviewed, and she has wept on Russian state television as she's talked about the joy she's felt in saving these children, and others see her as being complicit in the abduction, kidnapping and deportation of these children. So she's a very controversial figure, um, and clearly she is, alongside the, uh, the president, going to be a number of, amongst the suspects who are being alleged to have been involved in the abduction of children and who are now facing indictment in the International Crime Criminal Court. It's a very specific um, aspect, isn't it, that they're going after here? I mean, there have been calls for many um, international bodies around the world to, um, to make the act of aggression. Uh, so, so actually to going into this war, invading Ukraine in the first place, making that a war crime. Um, what's the latest on that? There are a number of, I think, legal avenues being pursued uh, by human rights activists, uh, by various international jurists, by a number of British uh, human rights investigators. And they're focusing on the claims of war crimes, crimes against humanity. And one of the main avenues is the, is the idea that he is pursuing genocide in Ukraine, because, of course, he doesn't accept that Ukraine has a right to exist, and therefore the war is, in a sense, in that argument at least, genocidal, because it is kind of de denying the right of Ukraine to exist, and therefore of Ukrainians to exist. Those avenues are being pursued and evidence is being compiled and, and gathered, but nothing has got to the point yet amongst those lines of, of pursuit in terms of bringing charges or indictments. So this is the first indictment of its kind that we're seeing. And as you say, it's very specific. It's talking about the abduction um, of children, saying there are reasonable grounds to believe that Mr Putin bears individual criminal responsibility for these crimes. So it's saying that he is complicit, he's involved and directly involved individually, and not just him, but also this uh, child's rights uh, commissioner.